Hello everybody and welcome back to this foggy, foggy day of Watch Dogs. Uh, first time I've seen the game look like this, honestly, I did, I did not remember that it did this. Uh, so since the last one, uh, I've done quite a bit. Uh, I think in the last one, I think I had finished getting all the collectibles that I could for now. I mean, the ones I have left, I could technically go and get if I looked up where they were. But if I just wait, I think it's the first mission of uh, of Act 3, I think, is uh, will have me unlocking a CTOS tower. And it's the one up in Pawnee, and I think it's the only one up there. And you can't unlock that until you hit the story mission that does it. <clears throat> Which means that none of the collectibles will show up on your map up there until you do that story mission. So I'll, I'm just going to wait for that. It's not all that important. Uh, for now though, we'll stick with the main missions. Mainly because I do want to uh, get there as quickly as possible so that I can grab the rest of the collectibles. Because I'm a completionist and it annoys me that they're sitting there. Uh, so we won't do the DLC missions right now. Uh, also, since the last time, I finished 40 fixer contracts. Those are infinite, by the way. The whoops, God. The achievements are, or the achievement is for 40, so I did 40. Uh, you can keep doing those forever and ever for extra money if you need it, which you really don't, considering you can just hack like a fuck ton of people's bank accounts and steal all their money. Especially with the hacking boost. Uh, I've done 17 criminal convoys out of the 18. Now, I think there is only 18 of those. Uh, but the last one, you need to progress far enough in the story to unlock it? Question mark? I think. Same with the... Uh, I've done 14 out of 15 gang hideouts. And once again, I'm pretty sure that that's all there is, is just the 15. And that you have to progress far enough in the story to unlock it. I don't remember why, and I doubt that, I think it's probably just like a superfluous reason, but, you know, whatever. Oh, does he have a system key for me? Yep. Oh, no, I don't care about his, damn it. I've been trying so hard to uh, not hack people for money, because I don't need the money, and it just puts like a bunch of garbage ATM markers on my maps. Hmm. It's too reckless. It's too dangerous. Yeah, because that's going to work. That's obviously going to work. Uh, so, like, they do have a day-night cycle in this game, I realize, because, uh... Oh, hang on. Phone call. Are you? I don't think you're going to like my answer. You know what? Forget it. I don't need whatever you got. You brought me nothing but trouble. We're done talking. Okay. Oh, yep. What are you doing? You should hurry, my boy. Your pretty sister needs you. Damien! Oh, my God. See, now... Damien. I understand sometimes why bad guys do it, right? Like, like, really, really bad guys. Because, you know, the easiest way to get at most people would be through their family, right? So I understand their dickheads are going to go after their family. But, like... This guy here isn't necessarily a bad guy. Like, he wants Aiden's help on something, so he goes after his family. Like, it makes no sense whatsoever, because it might force Aiden to help him, but that also means that immediately after Aiden is done helping him, Aiden's going to put a fucking bullet in his brain. Like, like, it makes no sense whatsoever. Like, has this guy never watched any of those movies? Where the bad guy used their family against them. It always ends with the guy who fucked with the family getting dead. Like, every single time. Out of, like, hundreds of movies where guys have tried that, it's never once worked out for them. They've always ended up in a gutter. Deservedly so, by the way. Like, you know, if you're gonna fuck with someone, fuck with that person. I mean, what did their family do, right? 
like all of these like mob movies and that where it's like make an example kill his family it's like all right what did they do exactly like like don't be an asshole like yeah that guy did something to you fucking kill him why not <laughs> I, it makes no sense whatsoever now what are the odds he's actually here no nope. Then why'd you do it that way? This is where we are. If you'd listen to me, things would be different here. Just tell me where they are. Where they are? There's only Nick. That little boy. I don't know where he is. Now this is what's gonna happen. I point to a hard drive. I told you there was another hacker. That will lead you to his computer. Get it? And you'll find out who ordered the hit on us. What do you really want? You lost your right to question me. I want that hard drive. That's all you need to know. And that's the price for you. Stop overthinking, Aiden. I need regular updates. In exchange, you get to talk to Sis. Quit pro and all that. This won't end well for you. Perhaps, but don't get clever. I really have no problem. Yep, so dead. Where is Jax? All right. He doesn't have him. Oh yeah, they have a camera in their house. Tablet. There. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Oh shit, someone's after him. How he knows that, I'll have no idea. But yeah. Like, there's some stuff that Aiden does where it's like, I can make it. yeah, right, like, he can track the kid's tablet, that's fine. It's connected to, well, although, granted, the tablet would have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network, right? And I don't know about in the States. It seems like something that would probably be a lot more common in the States than Canada, but... Uh, it seems like it would need to be very specific. Yeah, you will. Oh, yeah. so I wonder if this one is even possible until you get the that hack. Like, I wonder if it tells you that you have to buy it, maybe. Because, um, you know, this is an upgrade that I chose to buy because it's so useful. Also, we got this destroyer, right? One shots any vehicle it hits. Like, oh god. They're uh, coming for me now. Well, you know what? Another toy that I had before. That still works. For when they come at me. There we go. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. So this keeps happening, right? We're like... I'll be shooting people and then all of a sudden I just get the absolute shit shot out of me from like nowhere. Oh, get off the fucking thing. Ow. Uh, there you go. But yeah, like, just so you know, that destroyer gun is, uh, acquired for doing nine or ten of the, uh, uh, criminal convoys. And it's how I did the majority of the fixer contracts, if I could. Like, there's a lot of fixer contracts where it's like, 
stay close to the guy. Like, you gotta chase down a car, right? And then stay close to it as, like, a hack uh, goes off. And you gotta remain close to him while the thing hacks, right? Whereas, if you have that, uh, you don't have to chase him down in a car. You can just eliminate his car. Like, you can just shoot his car once, because that's all it takes. It doesn't matter uh, what vehicle they're in, I don't think. Um, it's an instant takedown. At least all the vehicles I shot, including, like, the dump truck, I think it was. The one guy was in. It fucking took that out as well, so... I mean, there can't be a whole lot that uh, withstands it. Uh, and then, well, I mean, like, the only thing that I ever saw withstand a bullet from that thing is the heavies, uh, which we dealt with in the prison. But even then, if you hit them in the head, it doesn't. Like, they don't withstand that. Believe it or not, a headshot with a gun that takes that's meant to take down vehicles uh, still kills them. There you go. So yeah, like all this car combat stuff, I don't really care for it, and but it, that makes it super easy. You're safe now. Right? You're safe. Okay, listen. This is important. Back at the house, did you hear those men say anything? Come on, Jax, talk to me. Yolanda, hi. This is Aiden Pierce, Nikki's brother. Is everything all right? It'd be great if we could meet in person. I'm on the train with Jax. All right. Do you know where Nikki dropped him off? Yeah, we'll meet you there. I need you to be brave for me, okay? The men at the house said this. Good, Jax. It's good. Hey, hello, sweetheart. What's going on, Mr. Pierce? Where's Nikki? Nah, it's been a rough week. She forced herself to get rid of Lena's stuff. And, uh, I think she's finally saying her goodbyes. How bad is it? It's bad. She should call him. Well, she wanted me to call you. See, we're wondering if you could look after Jax for a few days. We'll pay you, of course. Of course. I'll help in any way I can. That'd be great. Thank you. Nikki needs to grieve. I know it's hard, but it's a good thing. It's been rough. We're gonna work it out. Right? Hey, little man. We're gonna cause some trouble. Uh, let's go. And there we go. All right. So now we've dropped the kid off with the psychiatrist because, you know, Damien will never be able to figure out where we left him. Oh, got a skill point. Uh, not enough for anything. I don't have, as you saw there, I don't have a whole lot of skills left that I can buy. Uh, so I need, I think, all the ones I have left I require like five skill points or something for. Uh, which is a lot. Oh, look at that. There's a gang hideout. Son of a bitch. Apparently, that's what I needed to progress through to get it. Or it just was on, like, a really long time or that. Because I did... Oh, hang on. Oh, God. Hang on. There's a bad guy. He's getting away. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, shit. I missed. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Dude, put away your gun. So he also has this very insane habit of whenever I try to put away a gun, 
uh, instead of putting away his guns, he fucking... Hey, let me hack you. Hey. No, not the camera. Okay, it won't let me hack her for some reason, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, instead of, like, putting away his gun, he will fucking pull out his auto shotgun for, like, no apparent reason. So what that was there, that was a random crime. It wasn't one that the crime detection system could have picked up because, you know, why would it? Oops. Uh, and you can stop those as well. You can chase them down and do it. Obviously, if you shoot, you get unwarranted violence. Unfortunately, did not know that. Uh, but I wasn't going to chase him down, and my, my reputation could probably improve a lot after all of those fixer missions. Uh, I lose a lot of reputation the way I drive in those missions, as it turns out. But, um, yeah, you could chase him down and whatnot as well. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is the, uh, pawn shop. Great. That's fine. Because I can... Boop, there we go. I don't think I have. Oh, there you go. I did have a crafting one. Yeah, yeah. I like how we're how far into the game now. Like, assuming that you just stuck with main missions, we're about three hours or on our third hour of the game, and they're just now telling us how to craft stuff. Like, I mean, granted, you can do it all without worrying about it, but you know what? Since we're here. And the other mission hasn't shown up yet. There it is. Racine. Let's see where that is. Racine? Yeah, I have no fucking clue what the hell gotcha. that is. Robert Racine Yacht. Or Robert, not Robert. What the fuck is a Robert? Right. Hang on, dude. Yes, Just give me a second. I need to get the markers off my map. Uh, completely worthless to me. Like, I am almost a millionaire. I'd like to say Aiden Pierce is fucking loaded. But, I'm, oh, fuck that, I'm not going to drive all that way in a video, so I will use the hideout that I unlocked a long time ago to fast travel. Very useful. Uh, do have to choose your moments with it, though, though. Uh, with them, though. And by that, I mean, uh, let's see, there's... Because, you know, it's not always faster to fast travel. Because, well, granted, that loading screen wasn't bad, but sometimes it does take a minute. Uh, so, depending on... Oh, no, part-time paparazzi. So, yeah, like, you got to choose whether or not it's like, can I get there just as fast driving? And there's a couple of them that kind of suck for starting locations. Like, uh, there's one that starts you, I don't remember which one it is, but it starts you near the freeway. But it doesn't start you with a way to get onto the freeway. <laughs> So, like, pretty much the only road available to you, uh, you can't get on. And in this game here, you can go off-road easy enough, but, you know, it's still obviously better to stay on the road as much as possible. Because there's less chance of you to, uh, you know, crash and whatnot. Oh, so that's what felt like. So, uh... Mm-hmm. Stay cool. Just keep your hands. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a pretty much identical to a gang hideout. Find the access code to Racing's office. Well, yeah, a little bit different. Just because you need to find an access code, whereas the gang hideout you just fuck everybody up. So now I'm gonna do this as well. Boink. And that will reveal all enemies to me. One thing I don't much care for for in the uh wheel weapon wheel there is you can't, like, you have to change something to get the, uh, or to not pull out a gun. Like, if you just open it up to, like, you can't just open it up to look. Because if you open it up and you don't select something, oh, disable reinforcements. Uh, also, amazing ability, by the way. Highly recommend getting it as soon as possible. Oh, God, there's a heavy in there. But that's fine, because I have the heavy takedown. Uh, one of, I think it might have been the last fixer mission I did, maybe. I needed to uh, take down a heavy. It was like, hack the heavy, and then you got to take him down. It's like, all right, same old, same old, except it was a heavy. Uh, did not have the heavy takedown yet when I did it. Oh, and... 
Okay, wait for that guy. So this, I'm going to do this basically the same way I do gang hideouts. Uh, which is, boop. And wait for it, and boop. <laughs> I'd like to point out that even though my cursor was there, that bullet, or and even though my cursor was there and the dude did die, that bullet did not reach it or did not shoot him at all. But yeah, this is pretty much how I do all of my uh, gang hideouts. Is I find the one guy that I need, and then just kill everyone else because. There's no real reason not to. I mean, like, you know, you can be like, oh, but he shouldn't kill people because he's a good guy, which I've used that excuse. It's like, yeah, he's a good guy. He wouldn't kill people. But you know what? He wouldn't kill good people, right? <laughs> like, he wouldn't gun down civilians or nothing. And uh, like I said, it doesn't seem to change anything because I remember trying to stealth through these before. Uh, when I first played the game, and it was... Oh, intercept audio log. Fucking Damien. Uh, oh, okay, there's a camera. Okay, there's the heavy. So yeah, I also have the disrupt comms ability, uh, which is very useful as well, especially when you have... Oh, you know, is that really my range of view? Well, that's... Oh, wait, hang on. Damn it. Hang on, I see a camera up there. There we go. Um, oh, is that my target? Okay, whatever, Damien. I don't care anymore. He has the security access code. Boink. Search Racing's office for a clue on Nikki. I'm assuming the office is going to be up. Yep. So, chances are i got to get through these guys. Maybe. Is he going to shoot that guy? from? Yep. Okay, got him. Now, as soon as the heavy gets within range... There we go. <laughs> right, I forgot that that's what the upgrade was. You, I needed an upgrade to bash him in the fucking skull repeatedly. Like, uh, uh, video games and their upgrades, man. It's amazing. So yeah, that's pretty much all I do for gang hideouts. Is I kill everyone that I don't need and take down the last guy. Even on the ones where I'm reasonably certain that I can... Uh, Okay. Even when I'm like reasonably certain that I can kill the dickhead that I need. Robert. Nice to meet you. Okay. Are you double crossing me? I got you the Pierce woman. The woman, yes. I told you not to go for the kid. Did you think I'd actually pay you more? Now you've complicated things. Who's this guy after me? Did you send him? <laughs> I didn't send him. But I probably should have warned you about Aiden. You gotta help me, or I'll tell him everything I know. That's exactly why you don't know anything. He's not going to be happy when he finds that out. Hmm. Man, what do I do? Whatever you can. Good luck. See, now this is always the thing that I'm interested in, right? You son of a bitch. You're not getting away from me. Nope, you're not. Not if I can get a... Where the fuck did that guy come from? Oh, shit. How do I get down from here? Through this, I guess? Maybe? Nope, that's gonna hurt. Uh, there? Nope, that's... Oh, I guess I'm going down. Alright, you prick, where are you? Oh, God. I don't even know where he was. I mean, I really don't know where the fuck to go. I guess I'll leave and go out? Because now chances are, yeah, I actually have to do the... Damn it. Oh, no, it's not one of those, is it? Where... So there's some of these things, right? Okay, it's not. Because there's some of these things where you can't fucking do shit. Oh, escape the club reinforcements. Now... Oh. There we go. I was just about to say, it hasn't really been good for me to try and escape reinforcements lately. In fact, it almost always turns out badly for me. Uh, 
So I'm just going to kill them all. Because, like, like, well, I think it was actually in the one video there where I tried to uh, escape them. And I was doing so well. Like, I kept getting away from them, kept getting away from them. Uh, and they were just like, nah, you don't get to. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Start a gunfight. Save civilians that you put in danger. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh my god. So this car here is was actually one of the fixer missions. I had this car and it was fucking horrendous. I don't remember what the fixer mission was. Oh, we are in Act 2 already. Okay, I wasn't didn't realize that. Alright, go on. Where's the next one? Uh, over here? Nope. Oh, yeah, there it is. Parker Square. Oh, this is way back at the fucking apartment. Okay. Um, it doesn't turn the best. Must have been planning this for a while. That man always goes too far. Oh, you need to do like uh, Wolverine did. When he went after, like, uh, some dude. I don't remember. I have the comic. I don't remember who the dude was, though. But it was the same thing. It's like the dude knew everything about Wolverine, knew exactly how he was going to react. So Wolverine decided that his plan should be created by Deadpool instead. Because nobody will know how that guy will act. My sister as collateral. Oh my god. Familiar trace? Yeah. Damien, Damien Brinks. Uh, I can't help you. I'm gonna go. We'll talk later, right? After you're done. Shh, shh, shh. Boink. Go on, dude. You gotta do better than that. I also love how you can do that in video games, where, like, every action movie dude ever is just like, I can't, I don't have a clean shot, and you're just like, boop. Oh my god. So, I'd like to point out that, like, you saw how fast I died. I don't even know where the guys were that killed me. I killed the one guy in front of me there. Uh, I have an upgrade that makes me take less damage from bullets, by the way. Just so you know. Uh, so that means that I took that much damage with the fucking upgrade. And I don't know who these guys are. Oh my god. But they do so much. Is there a dickhead on the roof? There is a dickhead on the roof. But yeah, like, absolutely ridiculous. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, fuck. I didn't see the neutralized thing pop up. Come on. Ow, ow, ow. 
Ow, fuck me. There go, that should help. And then I don't know. Oh, I just blew up the CTOS box. That doesn't help me. Oh my god, so many bad guys all the time. I don't know, do they? Oh, they got out of their car. Yeah, where the fuck is she supposed to move to with all these assholes out here firing guns? Like, what are the odds she... Ow, ow, ow. How the fuck do you keep getting up on the roof? Oh, you know what? I can do this. There we go. And now they're all revealed. Ow, fuck. Yeah, do you though? So these, I'm assuming, are fixers, or supposed to be fixers, uh, which is like the contracts you do. Now, the fixer contracts that I did, the majority of them... Man, I hope her car isn't in here. Because <laughs> I just keep blowing shit up. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, got him. Oh, my God. Snipers. Snippers. Oh, shit. Go. Yeah, come on. Okay, got him. Oh, come on. If this was an action movie, they'd all be dead long ago. <laughs> also, I'm still protecting her, even though I'm nowhere near her anymore. Oh, you know what? Aha! Now where the fuck's this last asshole? What are the odds that she's got, like, a decent car and not, like, a smart car or some shit like that? Oh, God. Can you, though? I can see you now. There we go. Will they? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Goodbye. All right, there we go. So it's really nice when you can do that because then everybody dies in the car. And I think even if it's a... Uh... Oh my God, there's a lot of dickheads. Oh God. There we go. I think even if it's a heavy in the car, because you know, they do have to get there some other, somehow. Um, that it'll still kill them, even though it, like that heavy dying from that single explosion, very, very inaccurate. Yeah, it will. No, they're not. I don't get trapped. I do the trapping. Ha ah, goodbye. Better reload that. I'm pretty sure if they sit in your inventory long enough, they'll just reload themselves. But, you know, I do I do prefer to reload the guns just so that I know that next time I pull it out, there's bullets in it. Uh, although it hasn't really been too much of it. Oh, fuck. I thought that there was a... Oh, there it is. I was like, I knew there was a fucking car somewhere. These dickheads had to get here somehow. Uh... He did have like the classic vigilante, like if they find my secret hideout, I'll just blow it up thing. Um, but you know, if he was gonna do that, he probably shouldn't have done it in a motel. Cause I mean, it's a little bit ridiculous. The vigilante. So I know at some point you do get a uh, bat cave, by the way. Okay, hang on, that's still, is there something closer? I mean, yeah, this is. Uh, but yeah, you do get like a bat cave type thing at some point. Uh, but just like in most things where you get like, where there's like a really cool bunker, I not so much in like, <laughs> I ever done like everyone else? Are we bantering? It's been so long, I'm tongue-tied. Savor it, because you're not going to see it again. 
I've lost my network. I need some equipment. Not my concern. You didn't want to work as a team. This is your problem. You figure it out. I mean, you're the fucker who wants my help. Hey, sweetheart. Your brother wants to talk. Aiden? Jack? Is my baby okay? He's safe. Where are you? Crazy, he won't hurt you. Just be careful around him. What do you mean you know him? He kidnapped me. He's trying to get to me through you. What? Time's up. My God, what did he say to her? The poor girl's in tears. Damien, put her back on. You want to continue this little chat? You follow that IP address and get me something I can use. Ta ta. All right. Yeah, she's safe. Like you said, Damien. Oh, right. I was talking about that before. Is I'd like to know exactly how much of a dickhead somebody is. Because, uh, you know, there's different levels, right? There's like, this guy needs a beaten. This guy needs a bullet, right? Like, there's different levels of douchebags. This guy here so far just needs a beating. He doesn't currently need a bullet. Uh, Don't pull her into this. <laughs> I mean, you kind of already did. <laughs> I mean, you're constantly asking her for help. Here. Thanks. Those men, who are they? I don't know. You know, they must have picked up on the CTOS search. That's why I wanted to see you. DeadSec says that someone else has the system hacked. I took it, and I gave it to you. Now hold on. I didn't give it to anyone. I wouldn't. We need to trust each other. You know what? I don't have time to sue you, Clara. If you don't trust me, there's nothing I can do. Someone shot up my motel room. My sister's gone, and I have nothing. You are not my priority right now. No, I know that. Of course. You know this place? From when you're here, it's supposed to be the first test site for CTOS. It was known as the bunker. At least, that's how the urban legend goes. The bunker? But with access to the entire city? Undetected access. I've done months of research on it. City planning, zoning, documents, things they don't want us to see. There's a blank spot on every map. Right over there. Hmm. And you've lost your damage deposit on the motel. That's fine. We need to find a way inside that bunker. Undetected access to the whole city. I mean, can you turn this thing for me? Great. Expired visa. Wait, does that say? Haphazardly connected to a nearby camera. Okay. The fuck does that mean? Oh, okay. If you can do that, you may be my way in. Yeah. Oh my, look at that scrambled shit. Like. Oh. Somebody's been on that island recently. His name's Tobias Fruer. Tobias was one of the CTOS pioneers until Blue. Okay. Oh, I think this is the uh Oh, I think we're going to a drinking game. Maybe broke. He lives right near here. There's a homeless. Oh, maybe not. He's must be a different guy. He's got an underground shop hidden in there. Dead set goes there for some Oh, nice. It's this guy. He can't forget him. He's paranoid and won't talk. I can be persuasive. I'll let you do the talking. You really want this place to be real, don't you? It is real. So you 
buying into the legend. Papa used to take me camping in Mont Blanc. He'd always say we were looking for treasure. I didn't understand then that he was stealing from the cabins. Hmm. Gold watches, tools. The look on his face when it was something special. Like one time, I found an old rusted coin with a regal emperor. He said it was an ancient Roman coin. Priceless. But he let me keep it. Said it was my door to a magic world. The whole Roman Empire. I guess I am my father's daughter. Stars in my eyes. Well, I hope this bunker is real too. It's real. So yeah, I love this guy because you can just straight up buy all of these hacks from them, like the CTOS. I think you can get the CTOS scans. Yeah. Sometimes you can find rare schematics if you're lucky. Hmm. Uh, is it? Oh. What now? Someone here knows how to reach him. Uh, but yeah, after you do this, you can unlock that, or obviously that door unlocks. And you can go in, but you can like buy the jam comms and shit like that. What is it? I'm in the middle of He's playing poker. I'll get them to deal me in. Oh god, no poker. I'm no good at poker in this game. Poker. I feel like this game cheats with the poker. Like there's always like that one guy who will basically never bet unless he's gonna beat you. Like whether or not he knows He's going to beat you, like... Oh my god, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Yep. And of course... There we go. Take him down. <laughs> like I said, fucking love this guy. It is amazing. And poop. Poop. And poop. There we go. Piece o cake. So now it says take down, so I don't know if I actually have to take him down, but. Oh god. There we go. Generally, if they'll stand there and shoot at you, like that's more or less how you determine if somebody is, uh, you know, take down or kill. Uh, cause odds are if you need to take them down, they'll run away from you. Whereas if you're allowed to kill them, they will just stand there and shoot at you. Uh, not always the case, but it is a good signifier where if they're shooting at you, just try and kill them first. Uh, it makes sense. Now I want to say that there's supposed to be a way to, uh, shoot, to take people down. Uh, like you take out their knees or something and I've done it a couple times and then it comes up neutralized instead of you know gunman kill or whatever but I've never managed to do it on a target like every time where they, they've been giving me a target I always aim low right you know take them out at the knees or whatever but it's always killed them instead of neutralizing them which is different uh, so very annoying I don't know whether it's like because of the gun I was using, because, you know, maybe a couple more bullets than was needed went into them. Because, you know, I've since I've unlocked the Spec Ops Vector, that's pretty much all I've been using. Uh, mainly because, you know, there's no real point in not using a Spec Ops Vector. Like, I have the regular Vector, I have other guns that are just as lethal, but that way it's just already there and ready. Like, I don't have to wait at all. Like, I don't have to worry about switching to a silenced gun when I need a silenced one. If I always have just a silenced one, right? So, I want to say this here is the medium stakes poker table. Actually, you know what? This might actually be a low stakes one. Because I think this is the one that I cleared. Because as I was going through getting all the collectibles and that, uh, whenever I come across a poker game... Dude, why do you still have your mask on? There you go. Whenever I come across a poker game, I would... Okay, well, I don't know why it was... Whatever. Uh, I would make sure to clear every poker table I come across. Just because. Like, you need to clear a poker table for one of the upgrades. I think it's your focus upgrade. 
Oh, yeah, there's Fr Tobias Frewer. Oh, it's low stakes. I was right then. I wasn't sure, but... <clears throat> All right. Deal me in. Now, I'm pretty sure that this game is rigged. Like, this particular one. I don't remember what... I'm pretty sure it, like, tells you exactly what to do. It might even explain to you how to play poker. Uh, so just like most games, the poker you're playing is uh, Texas Hold'em. Uh, so when you're playing poker, yeah, whatever I'll call it. Uh, if you hit X, you can check, their, you can monitor stress levels, or you can hack the camera and see into their hands. And if you look down at your cards when it's your turn. None of your business. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see. Yeah, it didn't last very long. Ugh. Come on, dude. How the hell? Whoa. Come on, you can't possibly catch him. He's like the fucking Flash. You see how fast he got out there? Like, Jesus Christ. He, like, flipped the table and all of a sudden was up the stairs. Like, holy hell, did he just shoot at me? Oh, I could have burst that pipe. Damn it. I think that might have been what I did last time. Because I want to say that uh, the first time I did this, this chase was... I found this chase, like, super easy because of something I did. It ain't me you want. I mean, it is. Not for whatever reason you think I want you for, but, yeah. Oh, there we go. See, that, that did slow him down. So if I... Probably if I got the first one... Oh. Nope. Ah, uh, the perks of having the... Oh, God. The one button do multiple things, right? Fucking... Hor That's twice now. Granted, the second time was more my fault than the buttons because, you know... God, how the hell is he getting away from me? Uh, the guys that you chase in this game also have a bad habit of doing this as well, where... Uh, you'll catch up to them. Like, you are slightly faster than them, but ever so slightly. And you have to, like... Like, this guy is jumping over more stuff than normal. Like, most guys that you chase down don't. Oh, God. It was... Ow, you fucking hit me, too. Uh, ow, fuck. Which is slowing him down for the most part. Oh, there we go. That worked. Come on, dude. Fucking catch up to him. This is ridiculous. Yeah, like I said, you're technically slightly faster than them, but it... Overall, it doesn't really make that much of a difference because they're still so fucking fast. Like, you're ever so slightly. So, like, unless they start get caught, getting caught on people like that. There we go. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. I mean, it is. Right. I don't work with whoever you think. No one needs to know about this conversation. There's no power to the bunker. Cut it. There's no power. Do you get it? Might as well call that place the tomb. All right. I can deal with that. That's all it ever was when you think about the tomb. Uh. Anyone that ever touched that fucking place. We all have one foot in the grave, but I, I'm okay. I'm safe here. Mostly. Sure. I'm biased. May I have the bridge remote? Please. I built it, you know. The remote. Yeah. That's what I do, I build. Funeral. That's heavy, huh? Trust me, man. It only gets heavier. <laughs> hey, 
So yeah, super annoying chase, but opens the most useful shop in the game. Oh, nice, you do get C2S scans. Uh, not that they're all that difficult. Like, I mean, it is cheaper to make them yourself because you get the... Because you technically you can get all the parts for free. Like, you obviously hack the system keys. And... Yeah. I mean, you were homeless before. You're living in a motel. Come on. Give me my next mission. I got time for about one more. Give him an extra 10 minutes on the TV. So they do have these two memory things here, but I'm reasonably certain that they're memories we already went through. Like the one up by the tunnel, I think, is when his niece died. And uh, the other one, I'm pretty sure, is the same one that we just did, which I think unlocked that one, which is when he was at his niece's grave talking to his sister about, you know, him fixing whatever, and she told him not to try and fix it. Uh, so I'm not going to do them. If I do do them, it will be at the start of the next video, I think. Uh, and if you don't see them at the next the start video, video, you will hopefully notice that they're off the map. Uh, cause if they are those, if that is all it is, is the same things that we've already done, then there's no point in me keeping it in the video, you know? So... This will be the last mission for this video. Hopefully it's not too, too long uh, to stay in it, to stay within an hour. And because, you know, I have other things I need to record today. Uh, and I don't actually know how much time I have to record today. So, you know, hopefully I can get all three things that I want recorded today done. Uh, but after this video, I think I will see how much time I'll have. Oh, okay. This is just unlocking the bunker then. Uh, oh yeah, I was talking about the bunker before. Uh, so not so much in video games. In most times in video games, if you unlock a place, you get to do something with it, you know? Uh, like, some of my favorite things in games is when you unlock something and like you build it up. Like, if you ever played the original Sukaden, and I'm assuming it's something that they carry through to the other ones, but I've never played the other ones. <laughs> Blank spot there-ish. Um, you know, you get your castle, and then you start recruiting people. You go out, you recruit people, and it builds it up, and the more people you get, you know, it changes the thing. Like, in the original Sukaden, it was like, after you get this many people recruited this stuff changes, right? Like, it changes the layout to the floors, it opens up new areas, it makes them look nicer, and I fucking loved it. It was amazing. One of my favorite PlayStation games. And, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did. And? We played poker. Had a nice talk. What did he say? Clara, it's real. Uh -huh. Restore the power, and then we have to find an entrance. I'll see you soon. Um, but yeah, or in games like uh, Fallout 4. Uh, probably in the minority here. Uh, but one of my favorite things to do in that is the base building. Oh, what's that? Is that an audio log? Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't care what it is, though. Oh, it's about the bunker. Yeah. Although, I guess I could have let it play. Oh, well. How the fuck? Okay, so there, it's not that way. Got to get around behind this place. Um, but yeah, like one of my favorite parts of Fallout 4 was the 
base building at, like building up the towns, getting everybody settled, settled in and whatnot. Uh, I know that a lot of people hated that they put it in. It's like, oh, you could have spent more time on the main game and whatnot. And yeah, that's true. I mean, Fallout 4 probably would have been uh, an even better game for most people if they had left all of the base stuff out of it. Okay, how the fuck do I get in behind here? Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, but just like the other Fallout games, you know, it has stuff that it could have improved on. And stuff that definitely needed improvement. But, I don't know, I love the base building. It's one of my favorite things to do in games. Like, for example, the Portal Knights game. I got that game, and I think there's 47 different islands to go to. Wait, this is just bringing me back there. God damn it. And I've only been to four. And the only reason I've even been to four is because I needed, uh, oh, what was it? I think I needed scales from the uh, guys that are in World 4. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have even made it that far yet. Uh, because I figured the first island, which is probably the one that most people use. Oh, fuck me. Is it really? Is there a camera here? Why would there be? Why would it make it easy for me? Oh, look at that. There's one there. Hey. Oh, God. What a weird place to have cameras. There we go. Uh, but yeah, like I haven't even left. Like I haven't really left the first island yet. Like everything i basically really oh, okay i, I got gotcha. you oh that lift was supposed to uh <laughs> take me down after i get it all right there we go and oh, power uh so yeah like i've just been building it up on the first on the very first island like i say building up i've been taking down more than anything Oh, so she must be here. I would bloom hide a place like this. I hope there's a secret elevator. You pull a switch and the floor drops into a hidden base deep underground. Underwater? We're on an island. Wishful thinking. Hmm. Up then. One of the buildings. I'll keep looking. Yeah. I mean, it would be cool. Underwater secret bunker. Probably not the best place to store a bunch of electronics. Also, is there more bikes here now? I mean, this isn't even the bike I brought here and parked there. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, but yeah, like, and I don't even have plans on moving on from the first. Oh, that gate didn't open. Uh, from the first world in Portal Knights yet. Like, I still have plans to build shit. But I do the same thing in any game that allows me to do it, right? Where all I do is I sit there and I build up and build up and build up. And then by the time that I'm, then by the time that like I move on and actually like advance the plot, I'm so overpowered. <laughs> it is utterly ridiculous. Like the first time I played Fallout 4, before I went to the first area where you get like, where you find like Preston in them, uh, Concord. Before I even did that, I was like fucking level some ridiculous number uh just purely because of the amount of stuff that like i oh my god why won't this thing fucking activate there we go uh just purely because of like the amount of oh aiden like seriously now is not the time for stunts also i don't think i need up here for anything fuck god this mission is gonna take forever just because i'm not able to find anything well, whatever. Okay, get in there. Drop down. We'll go around, I guess. Um, and yeah, and like the only reason I had even went to Concord in the first place was... Oh, God, do I, did I really need up there? Oh, I guess I can climb up and over. Well, I'm going to leave the bike here. This isn't fucking helping. The island isn't that big. Uh, so yeah, like the only reason I even made it to them when I did was because... Oh, son of a... Okay, right here. Uh, was because I needed some materials to build up something else. I don't remember what I was building. But I was building stuff that I needed materials. So I'm like, oh, well, where the fuck's the area? Oh, fucking locked doors. 
Uh, and yeah, I ended up getting them and yeah, it just kind of just fed my obsession with, you know, fixing everything, right? Uh, oh, there we go. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I do in games. Now, unfortunately, none of that applies to this game, uh, which is what I was going to say, uh, which happens a lot in movies and TV, well, TV shows, I guess, because in movies, you can't really expect them to. Do I need to unlock this door? No, you can't really expect them to, like, you know, do anything like that in a movie because, you know, they have a time limit. Ooh, what's that? Electronic parts, eh? Oh, there we go. Uh, but like in TV shows, like for example, I've been watching Supernatural again. Uh, last t I say again because last time I watched it. Once we're in, can you get us online? In my circle, this is yeah. the sign of the sentry. If I fuck it up, you can take away my hacker card. Uh. Do you actually have a hacker card? Get it outside. Maybe I'll show it to you someday. Oh. <laughs> um. But yeah, I've been watching Supernatural. Last time I uh, stopped watching it, at, I think season nine. Uh, this time I've made it past that. I'm on like season ten now. How the fuck do I get into this last area? I mean, it honest, I I honestly have no fucking clue how to get over there. Cause this, unless this gate just generators are back there. I'll just hack the gate. Okay. Yeah, cause that's obviously what I wanted to do. Jackass. Uh, I'm assuming there will be a camera on the other side of it. Yep. Uh, you want to... There it is. Uh, anyway, the reason I bring up... Really? There we go. Oh, and now that's in the fucking road. Uh, the reason I bring up Supernatural is because in the one season, they find, like, this really cool fucking bunker. Uh, and then they do, like, nothing with it. Like, they, they chill there. Like, it more or less becomes their home base. But they don't do anything with it, right? Like I said, my favorite part about, like, Sukaden was you found the cool thing. And then you filled it up with people. You found others who were, you know, had the same goal as you and whatnot. Okay, why can't I see the, uh... Wires for this. Is there not a... I don't see a path to unlock this door. But I need to get up there. I mean, it has all these crates. So maybe this? Uh, but yeah, they don't do anything. Like, they meet a bunch of people on Supernatural, right? Uh, and do a bunch of stuff with people. And I can understand not wanting, like, everyone to know the location of this. But there's some people where, like, they've known them for how long? And they don't know where the bunker is although uh, I will say they do kind of let a lot of people into the bunker uh but not enough right like they don't I don't know it's just one of those things where it's like I wouldn't handle most of the shit they do the way they do it right like like they come across a quote unquote monster Hmm. Uh, like, for example, in one of the last ones I watched, uh, I'm still on season 10, so it's not really a spoiler. If you've watched Supernatural, you've probably seen season 10. Uh, it, well, actually, it was in an earlier season, right? They met, uh, well, they, I guess they didn't really meet her, but there was a werewolf chick who, she was recently turned, and on Supernatural, the lore with werewolves is they have to eat people's hearts, but... She was recently turned, and, uh... Oh, what was it? Right, if she never ate a human heart, she wouldn't get the urge. Like, her urge to eat a human heart wouldn't be... I hope I'm moving. Wouldn't be all that strong, right? Uh, so she was eating, like, animal hearts and shit. And then, you know, she runs away from them, which makes sense, before they actually find her. Uh... And they're like, well, you know, if we come across her again, whatever. But they come across her again, and she's been good, and they still want to fucking kill her. It's like, are you, it's like, she's been good. Why? Oh, there she is. Clara, we need to make a deal here. No one can know about this. 
this until after I'm done with it. Of course. But yeah, like... Or they come across people who are like... Help me get her online. Pretend, or not pretending, who are like gonna start hunting because you know whatever like their girlfriend died for example was the one guy and it's like and then they just tell them that it's like you know what there's monsters you should stay out of it and that's it and they know that the person isn't gonna stay out of it but they still don't offer to train them like there's just so many things that i would do differently on that show up and running before you're back. There we go. Objective complete. Power up the bunker. We now have a new hideout. Uh, a fairly useless one, I will say, because it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, the only reason to use the fast travel point here is if you're coming here for the mission. Like, absolutely no reason otherwise. Because, like, if we look at the map, it's there, and there's very little. Like, it's out in the middle of a fucking island. And, also, if you look, there's only the one exit off, which leads all the way through here. Uh, oh, no, well, maybe you can go. Uh, you must be able to get it, because I came from there. But, anyway, that will be it for this video. Uh, unfortunately, it took me a little bit longer to find those uh, generators than I had hoped. But, whatever. That's it. We got our new bunker. Can I fucking get out of this thing there we go uh in next video we will continue on with this eventually uh we will get to act three and i'll be able and we'll do the bonus missions and like the weapons trade and all that because i still haven't met the characters i need for that uh but thank you all for watching and i will see you next time